Last hour, we talked to the owner at White Blossom Ranch, where uh -huh. you can make appointments for the almond orchard photography. Well, she also has crafters there and different vendors, including Lori McGee, who crochets dolls. Hi, Lori. <laughs> How cute. It is a crochet doll. Hi, Lori. Can you hear me? I can. Hi, Tina. Hi. All right. Uh, you have a very special doll right there in front of you. Why don't you tell everybody who it is? You. That's me? I have a Cody. That's you. Co <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So cute. Tina, Tina. look at you. Okay. You nailed it. Here. Nailed it. Oh, here. Nailed oh, it. So wow. Great. That is so great. <laughs> How long does it take you to create one doll? <laughs> well, when I heard when I heard the show was coming out about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I started on the Tina doll because I didn't think Cody should stand there by himself. Aww. And I heard you like bicycles. <laughs> that you spend so, a lot of time on bicycles, so, so I got you a prop. Oh, cool. I thank you very much. Look at that. Now you're been welcome. doing this. You learned how to crochet when you were a kid, right? I did. I was about eight, nine years old when my grandmother first started teaching me. Okay. And I spent a lot of time ripping out. She would show me. I would do it. She would say, that's all wrong. Rip it out. And I would go again. <laughs> oh, wow. These are wonderful. Oh, look at the cat. So oh, the cat. I, also, I also taught my daughter to crochet when she was really young. Okay. And after I started making dolls, she jumped in and joined me with the animals here. Oh, Okay, that's why it says Sandy. That's her daughter's name, Sandy. Yeah. I see the sign there. And then I have okay. a cousin. Oh. I have a cousin, Carrie, that started, she started sewing some clothes for me for the dolls because I'm not really good at details. So and then you. she had so much fun at it. She took off and started making her own dolls and her <laughs> own creations. That's great. Now, what, you said something about uh, sometimes they're used for therapy. Oh, when we need to unwind, crocheting is like therapy. Okay, you can okay. just close your mind and stop the world and sit and crochet, oh. and it's really fun. Oh. We love it. You do great work. How now, cute are um, where, where Thank are you. you normally, other than at the barn there? I mean, do you go to other craft fairs too? I do. I, I go from Modesto, Oakdale, and then I live up in Ione. So okay. I go to Jackson and Valley Springs sometimes. Wonderful. But most of my most of my successful craft shows have been in Oakdale okay. and Modesto. Very good, very good. And right now you're at White Blossom uh, Ranch there. And if you want more information, want to get in touch with Lori, you can find her on Facebook under Lori McGee's Dolls. Yay! Thank oh, you so much. That is so, so sweet. Thank that you. is so sweet. Thank let you. Me, let me thank see, you very much. Let me see Tina. Cody again. Hello, Cody. <laughs> Cody ended up a little bit shorter than Tina. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> well, just, he's, you know. he's missing a gallbladder. That's why. That's right. I'm shrinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is is that where he went? I've been wondering where yep. did Cody go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lori. That is take so care. cute. Uh, Thank Adorable. you, Tina. All right, it our, was fun. Our, Thank it you. It was fun. Thank you so much.